So yeah, hello guys, how are you? Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, recently, I did a video here about you know my trip to Switzerland. So I just wanted to share like my experience, you know, being there, what was it like like during the trip, and what do I think about Switzerland? You know, my review about it, you know, and everything. Like when I was leaving home, like I wasn't sure, like like you know. I was a bit skeptical, but when I like left my my home here, I took a taxi, went to a place called like Junta, at, like here in Mozambique. Then I caught up the bus, like you know, I took the bus, and during that ride, like from Mozambique to Swazi border, a lot of potholes in the streets. You know, like the roads are not okay on this side, like they're really not okay. But it took like something that could have could have done maybe 30 minutes it took us like one hour and a half or something you know because just and that guy was like he was pushing like he was driving like a little bit fast but hey you know when you're in a car you're doing like this so it's not nice it's not comfortable and also like the chair is too hard so like your butt hey man when it hits those holes <laughs> but luckily i got to the border i crossed the border and it was funny because when i crossed the border i felt this calmness something calm like quiet and i was like hey, i even shot a video saying hey, man like you know I'm, I'm crossing the border and when i got on the other side like immediately, immediately i took a bus and the bus is there and the bus is here they two different like it's a world you know what i'm saying because it's like the buses the buses in mozambique everybody's like tight day like you know like i did a video here about the buses here people know just go and check it out but the buses on that side is different because no one sits like this. Everybody sits comfortable and there is space for everyone. You know what I'm saying? And people there, mind you, people in Switzerland, they're like, they're fat, you know, they're strong, but they still like, they don't sit, like they don't make you like squeeze each other. You know what I'm saying? Just because they want to make more money. And the drivers there, they push like, we are doing like 130, 140, I think 120 kilometers per hour. And this is like, you know, like going down, sometimes going up, sometimes going to turn. So it gives you that impression. But all in all, like they play good music. They play, they play like soft music in the car. Like kind of like piano, but like jazz. You know, they play this house, deep house, sometimes jazz, sometimes piano. You know, deep house mixed with jazz, sometimes piano also mixed with jazz. So it's soft music like for the long ride. Like it's good. So it was a comfortable ride. I'm not going to lie. Like I enjoyed that ride and I paid like 70 rand, which is like, 250 I would say 250 so uh, yes man I went to <clears throat> from Mozambique to the Borosas land then from the Borosas land to Simonia which is like maybe 25 kilometers from the Borosas land then from Simonia to Manzini but it was soft like even the roads the roads are okay and it's fast like you get there like I'm telling you you feel this peace you feel this quiet you feel this comfort you know you, you're comfortable you're not in South Africa or whatever but you feel like hey man these people they poor but at least they're organized and the weather is good like it's not like this weather here like we should, we should have like 30 degrees 40 degrees 50 degrees 100 degrees it's not like that so it was different and I liked it and I enjoyed it very much you know what I'm saying so and, and also it kept me excited like you know what, like what i'm about to meet then like when i reached my destination so when i got into the um, to the other side in manzini yo manzini was packed yo manzini was packed like guys i'm not gonna lie manzini was packed i wish i could have filmed that thing i even wanted but i didn't do it i don't know why because i maybe I had like a lot of luggage on me but <laughs> yo it was packed it was packed I don't know if I'm, if, if I'm gonna put the video here or I'm gonna do a separate video, but just go out there and check because I'm definitely gonna do a video like, like just you know, touring this as like Switzerland so people could see. But yo, it was packed. And one thing that I've noticed is, is that I didn't even, even want to put this, but like the ladies, they they like they take care of themselves. Like that's what I saw like properly. I don't know if you know, like, yeah, they take care of themselves properly. They know how to dress. They dress nice. They're comfortable. I even felt like yo man, like man, what what are you guys doing? Because hey, these women out here, like they like they are like going fast. You know what I'm saying? And they don't dress like kind of like to show like their bums or whatever. No, like they dress this you know this casual style, which I think people in Europe they do it also. So it's more like comfortable cheer, 
but also fashionable that you look and you be like man that's dope like the dressing whatever whatever like they know how to dress i feel like they know how to dress so that's what i've noticed and you know unfortunately i didn't stay too much in my zine maybe i stayed there like 10 minutes but, but i had to get 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 out of there because it was too full and i also had a bus you know to catch and so eventually i i, I went back to, to get another bus because i was going to Bambani, which is like the main city of Switzerland, the main capital so i went there and you know immediately i was in the car and i was talking to this guy as i sat like on the front and you know and it was nice like the, the ride was good the only thing i didn't like is that like, the drivers they don't put seat belts i felt like this is not the Switzerland that i knew from back then which which people like they follow the rules and what's the, and that's what i like about Switzerland is that they follow rules but this time i didn't see like i felt like people are slacking a, a little bit like this guy was driving and the seat belt was out and i noticed this thing like a lot of time when i was in the past like these youngest these people are driving they don't like to wear seat belts they do like when they see cops that that's when they put like the seat belts but i felt like if you're doing like 130 kilometers an hour 140 135 kilometers an hour you should put seat belt like and you carry people you know in, that's your responsibility i felt like man this is wrong you know what i'm saying like i don't like this thing but you know it is what it is you know but like yeah the roads are fine definitely you know it took like about 30 minutes from Mazini to Mabano it could be like 45 minutes but that guy was driving like you know a little bit like he was driving so it took us like 30 minutes but it was smooth all the way through and he had this like Mercedes Benz which is like a big truck and it was comfortable you just like sit there and enjoy, and, like, enjoy the ride so when I got to, to Mabani man it was like okay good like yeah I saw some new places, you know, like Babani is like it's still the same, but like it has like an update, like some upgraded version, like a new hotel, you know, the Hilton Hotel, you know, then you know there's a, a a new a new I don't know, a new like office space with like some chill spot which is called like Sun Deck, which you go there and see the sunset, you know, sunset while having a drink or cocktail, you know, like I saw I saw some new things there, and. For somebody who's just getting there for the first time, I would recommend like get to know somebody that's locally so you can enjoy it properly. Like, but somebody with this vision, like not somebody who's, you know, when I say this, like people just want to stay home and eat and cook. No, people that have this adventurous mindset like I have, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's good because every day I go, to, every time I go to Switzerland, I want to go there not to just do the same but to discover something new and sometimes I feel like I don't know that country you know what I'm saying although I've been there in between like for the last past like since I was born so for me just like you don't need like you, you, you can have your own transportation but I don't feel like you need it I just feel like what you need is to have a little bit of money and have this thing of like let me go and see and have people around you that will back you up in back you up in my case it was easy because I have family there and I know people there so it's like I'm soft, you know. Like you can't be too comfortable, but like they will kind of like help you, you know. So this time, like I was with my cousin, and she she was like, man, she was proper. She took me to places, you know, like we split the bill together. Like, like it was cool, it was tight, you know. It was good. The food was nice. The, we had a lot of cocktails. We had a lot of drinks. I'm not gonna lie, and it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Like I went to new places, Summerville, you know, like Summerfield, Sandag. You know, Solani's. I didn't know these places, but it seemed like this was the places from back, like, since back then. At least Solani's, like, a new club there. So, like, yes, man, like, and where my my, my, my family is living or my cousin is living, like, it's like a suburb. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that, like, it's, 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 like, it's, 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 it's like a hill. But, you know, you can see the mountains, you can see every view, like, you know, it's a nice place, you know, like, they are comfortable, it's just like, it's a bit cold, like, when I say a bit cold, I'm just like, minimizing, but yo, it gets cold, guys, like, I woke up 4 a.m. in the morning, I was like, what is this? <laughs> Why do you guys, like, you can't live like this, it's impossible, you know, you need, you, you need at least heater, or you need to just get out of there, I think, I don't think I would stay there during the winter, I don't think so because I felt like it, it is still summer. It is March. We're still in the summer, and winter is about to kick in around the end of April. But I felt like I was deep, deep, deep in the winter. 
line four degrees negative yo that thing was was heavy and that's when i woke up i even told my auntie i was like yo what was happening like what's happening here like this is not supposed to like human being cannot live in this side not like this and my 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 auntie was like no i'll give you another blanket i was like nah 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 but you know eventually i think i got like used to but it wasn't used to i started putting masks like i started wearing masks like those covid masks i started wearing them back again and people would ask me in the street hey why are you wearing this mask no, don't you know we suffered you know we're still traumatizing you wearing this thing now i was like man i need to take care of myself because if i just walked like with my nose like this guys you can you 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 would catch like not even a flu you go to the hospital i'm telling you like it's cold proper cold i like they they go to like i think zero grounds negative and even my cousin told me like when it's proper winter if you open like the i don't know like the tap water the water doesn't come out because inside there is still it's like it's frozen you know and it takes like a week for clothes to dry so you can imagine how cold this place is like yeah it's crazy you know what i'm saying but hey the, that's why they chose to leave you know and it's, I, I felt like it was very humid like this thing comes for life from yes i was saying that my my auntie told me like in the mountain in, in the mountains inside there's water so that's why i feel like you know like the flow there like was very humid even though like it's a built house it's a well-built house at least i think so like it's you know like it's you wake up 4 a.m and you feel like you know like you, you even feel like your body like your chest like hey so like man like that for, for me like that's what i would say like is uh the negative i would say so like it's too cold and it's not even winter excuse me and i'm starting to think like imagine now like when we get to like proper proper winter like what could have happened and she told me that when it's winter like they fill up bottles of of coca-cola with hot water and then they put in the bed just to like you know like lean into them and you know it's hot because and, and, and she told me that they put like three socks but it's not even like normal socks like those very like proper ones you know like so it's yeah i like the place but like during like what is like this soft like 26 degrees 28 degrees and every day like i was praying like i was praying for the sun to come out because like man i don't want to be here with the weather like you know just clouds because he, 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 you you i mean i don't know even people in canada like how like in vancouver how they do it but it's terrible like that's not a proper weather because you stay home and it's like you're only gonna watch tv you know maybe check something online but it's not the same like you don't have like you're not alive you know like sun makes one people like makes a person like live makes a person like there's life you know in sun but when you see just dark clouds every time it, it, it makes you like stay like i don't know like depressed you know you know like it's not that like you're gonna be directly depressed but it brings that thing of like you just staying there like at least me i'm a person that i like to go out like i like to be out there in the streets like looking you know going places seeing different stuff so for me it's like especially when i'm traveling i want to have that you know be able to be out there and not just be home two three days and I can't even go out and the weather is not okay, you know, because that weather, it only tells you one thing, drink tea, put, put, put like proper clothes and wear a blanket and stay indoors. So imagine now you can't even do normal stuff because it's cold. So basically I would say that's like the negative, the negative, I would say the weather. But all in all, taking that out, you know, like, environment like uh, Swaziland, Eswatini in this case is not like a rich country they are poor I remember a time or a place where like they used to be like very like a proper country like you go there you find things in order and everything not that not in order now but like they used to be a little bit more developed than our country which is Mozambique my country but now it, like, it has changed like since the last president that was in charge he came in most you know he came in the in the power here in Mozambique and he changed everything is that we have developed and we have this developed mindset of like Mozambicans like now they 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 they're making life happens they're making things happen like they you know they 
the getting richer, the buying houses, the investing, you know, they, they know how to dress properly, they fly to Europe, they're doing a lot of stuff, this whole, a lot of things that are happening. And I used to think that South Africa uh, is, is the place now, but now I say like, nah, Mozambique is the way because that is how there's a lot of pollution like going on a lot of stuff is going on i don't want to get into that in this video but like i've seen now like that i was in social land up this is up i was like nah things are not well right now you know so um Switzerland is a great country but it's just like they are losing now because like there is no development so they're just in this in this stagnant water you know but one thing i like they they is, is that there's humble people People, I have, I've heard people say they are ignorant. They only like to drink and and, and booze, and, and 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 eat too much or pop or stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, but you know, like a country where there's not much to do, what you can do, but like, maybe people they need like renew, renew, renewment of their minds. Maybe th th that's what they need. But I feel like they need to wake up to change certain things, but not a lot because I feel like Switzerland is something that Mozambique doesn't have. In South Africa, maybe they don't have, which is like people are humble, they're very simple. Like, I was about to tell in this video, like, I think, like, you know, the women in Switzerland they're very beautiful, and doesn't mean because the woman is beautiful, it's just you go in the out there and take it. No, it doesn't work that way. But, like, I feel like you get to that place and you feel like welcome, yeah, you feel like you're at home. At least that's how I feel like I'm in home, I don't have to worry about much, and I'm being taken care of properly and even like um the condition like you know like the, the lifestyle they like the, the the way how can i say the cost of living is not that expensive compared to mozambique like I've, i was I, I went to the supermarket and it was pick and pay it wasn't even like shop right it was pick and pay and i was looking down there and i was making like look how much to buy this how much to buy that and i started making like a, like a calculation how much would i need for a month also and included they rent like for like a one bedroom house or two bedroom house and you know in a nice neighborhood petrol and everything and for me to go out properly what 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 like with two thousand rand you can live proper like you and your lady with food just for you two and you did with eight thousand rand a month you can live okay like you can be like I don't need anything else I'm good here you know what I'm saying like I'm not saying like paying like your home loan or like paying your car loan or paying like you know like this school like school fees no just like to have food gas you know like um groceries there to eat you know like going out you know having a good time proper stuff like being good with 8k you know and these people they don't even earn that much i was asking around like how much people are getting paid and people that who, who's working they were telling me like 4k 5k like even 3k 2k 1.8 so it's not too much but they make a living with that little that they have so imagine if you have eight eight thousand rands now you are a bit higher you know more than the normal you know what i'm saying so it's like they give you you know like they give you like like this was has this thing of like if you know i don't think it's a good place to do business by the way because of the laws they like, like i don't know not laws but like because of everything belongs to the king like everything is under the king you see so i feel like in terms of business if, if you're trying to make big investments they're gonna have trouble but if you wanna like just go out there live like for a month or two see like what it is i mean uh like i can say go and you see that people is people is humble but you first need to know somebody from day who can take take you around and you can get to know the places and i'm not saying all the time a fancy place i feel like i went to a lot of fancy places to a lot of like beautiful spots but you know like just get to know how people live in general you know because i had that ability to be with local people and then also go and see other stuff so for me i felt like okay this is a nice place for me at least like to buy homes or invest in some kind of way but not to live there like i don't feel like Switzerland is a place for someone to go and live because of the weather it's, it's very cold but also i don't see like a proper sustainability people like it's hard for you to be sustainable there because of jobs there's no jobs and stuff like that in business they don't make a lot of money like, like that so 
for me, I, I wouldn't do like go there and be like, hey, I'm, I will live here and blah, 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 make plans here. But it's a good place for you to come, for me, to, for you to go and relax. Because in Mozambique, life is too fast. In South Africa, I don't even want to know. You know what I'm saying? It's faster. I think Johannesburg, life is just like too much chaotic. Cape Town is very expensive. So if you want to like an alternative from the living in Mozambique or going to Joburg, which is like is a lot of high rate in, in terms of crime and stuff like that, you can opt out to go to Switzerland and go and chill at a nice park, rent a nice house like for a week or two and just chill. And with 8K, 4K, um, you know, you can do that. You know, me, I just went with a little money. Of course, I was with family and it was easy for me. And, you know, I was being taken care of in terms of like, uh, I wasn't paying like for, you, you, you know, like, um, I had like, you, you know, like, uh, I wasn't paying for a hotel, you know, or groceries, like all the time. So all these things minimize my, my, my spending. So I will spend more outside than, you know, just on this other stuff. But if you want to go and have a full on experience, I would say 8,000 8, rands, you can go for like a month and, you know, be okay. And one thing I would say is that you don't need the transportation in Switzerland. I realized that because ever since I've come from Mozambique and here the traffic is chaotic, once I got there, I started seeing like, wow, like the traffic here is different. Like there's no traffic, you know, jam whatsoever. I only saw once and it was a little bit. There's no traffic jam and there's proper roads. The only thing you find is bumps. Like we have to go, like whatever the school in Switzerland, you see a bump. A bump like there's all these bumps there a lot of bumps i feel like Switzerland is a lot of bumps but there's perfect roads you drive you know avant-garde like you drive like free as long as you're within the rules that's why people are too comfortable there i feel like that and it's a city with the, that that's calm you know it's a bit old i would say so but it's calm it's quiet it has a lot of green it's small city people are humble you know the cost of living is not that high you know like with 2000 rands you can survive very very nicely like for groceries for a month you can live good with like 4k you can enjoy your life with 8000 you, you can live proper and this is guys where you gonna take the same amount of money and go and be like hey i'm living good like i'm going to everywhere i want to go it's not another place like that so i feel like swazi gives you the benefit basically that was my that that like that's my take on 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 my trip to to this month you know this week that I was there. I haven't been there in seven years, but like yeah, um, the weather is good, but it's cold. You know, comparing to Mozambique, that it's always hot. The weather is good, but it's very very cold. Me, I wouldn't be there for lo longer because of the weather. Um, the, 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 the even like renting homes. It's not that expensive like one bedroom apartment you can rent for one you know like 2.8 you know but even there you can negotiate 2.5 you know so it's possible for you to rent a nice place that's what i'm saying like with 8,000 rents you can live good like proper and you don't need transportation like you don't need a car a proper car and even if you have gas there is lower than mozambique it's, i think it's lower than south africa south africa i think it's 25 rand Mozambique is 89 meter cars. I don't know how much that is, but I think it's 23 rands around that. And Switzerland is 20 rand. 20 plus 20, I don't know, 20, 20 something, 20 point something. So it's cheap, you know. And I've realized that they have good gas there because the, we are using a VW Polo. I think it's 1.5, I think, or 1.8. I don't know very well, but we move for like. Four days with six liters and i'm telling you going up and down like in the city and out in the city and out like you be being able to leave the city go back home and come back and go back home every day for like four days with six liters guys you wouldn't do this thing in, in, in mozambique for sure you wouldn't do this thing so for me i feel like yeah man like i saw a lot of advantages and i just wish that this country would you know develop more you know people would wake up stop being like in this long sleep and realize that you know we got a country to build we got a country to take care of but uh, one thing i like about them also is that they follow rules it seems like like they follow rules i don't know very well about that but i've understood that maybe they they do follow rules when it comes to like do things properly 
which in my country is very different because corruption here is the main thing and I don't like corruption, you know, like because it disrupts everything and it messes up everything. So basically, yeah, that's my review and you know, like uh, would I go there? I would ask myself this question, like would I go there again? Like, you know, like to stay there like for a month or two? I don't know, but I would say that I will go there again and stay there for two weeks. You know, and not necessarily in the winter because I don't want to have that experience, but you know, when it's summer, you know, somewhere mixed because there's a many part there are many parts in Switzerland. There's it's rainy, Babani and Z. Babani is always cold. You know, it might be hot, but it always gets cold. You need a jacket. It's rainy, it's hot. It's like Mozambique, it gets hot. You know what I'm saying? But it also gets cold. You know what I'm saying? Manzini is the same thing. So I feel like Manzini, like Manzini is the place for business. Bambani, Bambani is the place for family. You know, you want to chill and just be quiet. It's really is the place like to hotels and you know, it's very bougie. Like I went there now and they've shut down two major hotels, which was Lugogo San and the Royal Swan King uh, Hotel. So now there is this one being built, but they don't know when it's going to finish. There's a new hospital there and there's gables. But other than that, there's not too much going around in Isulini. So I feel like now it's bougie, very bougie, and uh, I don't care about that. So guys, basically this is my review about Switzerland, my, 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 my trip, you know. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I'm talking like what makes sense and I've you know i'm gonna do or did a video here about Switzerland. go out there and check that out because it complements to what i'm saying in this video and if you want to go out there you really realize that most of the things that i'm saying here is true and i'm basically speaking based on inexperience you know and there, there are things that i could have exchanged you know like you know in terms of in my country, in terms of regulations, for like following rules, weather-wise and roads-wise, I think like we need to work on that here in Mozambique and Switzerland. They need to wake up to the new development cycle and start pushing themselves and not just be lazy. And I feel like the the country needs to open more to good opportunities. And people, you know, I think the king shouldn't be like too greedy, like having like wanting to own like sixty percent of business. Don't do that. It's like. You know, just be like a normal human being. Like, if you want to do business, go out there and do business, and don't use your whatever you have, like statues you have, to advantage, take advantage of, of, of the situation. Because in the end of the day, I feel like I feel like the Switzerland could be gone a long time ago, but they are losing because of this stuff. You know, of giving me sixty percent. Imagine like you going to a country, you want to do business, you want to invest. Give me like sixty percent of your business. Would you do that? It's crazy so for me it's like doesn't that it shouldn't be like that you know and i'm not just saying like this is what i know like speculations what people talk about i know like there's a lot of blah 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 so we shouldn't be that greedy in life because once you get greedy uh, you start at, uh, attracting curses in your life that's that's for sure and you don't sleep at night because you're always worried about something so guys this is it for me hope you guys are doing good hope you guys are doing great uh please follow the you know subscribe to the channel because this channel is for exactly that like to share experiences whenever i travel whenever i put myself on the road and tell like my experiences or what's going on out there to the places that i've been or new places that i'm still gonna go and share like you know i've been doing this like i also have like um how do you say this um a tiktok page where where I put like snippets of places, you know, so if you don't want to go check these videos, you know, in full detail, you can go and check those snippets and see, okay, this is beautiful. Now, if you want to know things in detail, this is when I put, you know, the, the, you know, on the YouTube page, which is like more elaborate and more, you know, beautiful, what about all these things. So, yeah, I guess I'm getting tired of talking here. Shout out to you guys. Subscribe to the channel, please, you know, hope you guys are doing good, hope you guys are doing okay. Peace.